Probably a good call. Oh, right, yeah, there was a story too, okay. So that guy's sister, he's a wildling, okay. And that's his sister. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look, that was always I can't the go plan, south. Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. <laughs> Rude. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them, and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. Thank you. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't Bridge. need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. It is real. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. Jeez, I... One moment he likes me, the next he doesn't. I feel like it's high school all over again. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Yeah, I recommend we get food. Food is great. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. I'm not angry. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I know. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. That's I'm understandable. Sorry, Garrett. All by myself. Okay, seriously, is that just the way we're ending that conversation now? <laughs> um, talk to. Are you sure? Got it. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister. I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. You didn't think I would understand? I I'm doing everything for fucking family. I'm and sorry. you don't think I would understand people doing things for family? How's your arm? How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah. It's shit. 
You don't look like her. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I, no, I didn't mean I know what you're getting at. Bad. So you may as well I, just say it. It was I just, just... I just wondered. Was... She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. You're abandoning me? So you me? really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrid. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. So why were people afraid of Selby? Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. True. Uh, what happened to your village? What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. That's I true. guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. So where's your mother now? Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. Um... Okay. Let's look around. Where's the other guy? Finn. That's the other guy. There he's there. Finn! I just want to be friends. Let's be friends. Why can't we be friends? What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Yeah, that happens. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. It's true. I suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. True. So, what, are we friends again? I can never tell what's going on with him. Are we friends? Are we not friends? I like to think we're friends. He's just very moody and emotional. Apologies, I'm trying to tidy up my desk while I'm doing this at the same time, so hopefully that wasn't too loud. Um... Finn is interesting. Oh my god, it's just funny. It's okay. <laughs> bunnies, there must be bunnies. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? I'm sorry, sorry. give me a fright. <gasps> the bunny's hopping away. Hop, hop, hop. Never met a crow before. Nice to meet you. I'm a crow. Sorry I almost killed you. It's okay, it happens. Might have done you a favour though. Probably, yeah. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Yeah, so I've heard. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. You as well, apparently. white walkers, of course. But I'm not a crow anymore. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. What is it? <gasps> Bunny! Not giving our dinner away. No! Bunnies aren't just cute like everybody supposes. Take my bow. Here. They've got that them hopping really legs and twitchy little noses. Well, how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I make do. I make do, all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. And what's with all the carrots? What do they need such good eyesight for anyway? Bunnies, bunnies, it must be. Bunnies! <laughs> Is that what making do means? I'm a singing Buffy! Leave me alone! <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'll focus this time. Once more, with feeling. <gasps> Where'd my game go? I clicked off the game. Okay, now once more. We're feeling. No, I missed. Ah, oh, you're joking. Maybe next time, Garrett. 
I'm sorry, I clicked well, off the game. Since we don't have any food. I didn't mean uh... <laughs> What's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. Eh, I'm okay with that. Don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. <laughs> yeah, okay, for a point. Look, I felt bad for the bunny. <laughs> you ever lost anyone, Garrett? Um, Someone actually. Someone you really cared about. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. <sighs> Do you know what that's like? My family. I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Yeah. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. Mm. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Is it real? So it is real, then. I didn't say that. But it might be. Okay, can, can you just say yes or no? A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Well, do you believe the stories? Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. Damn it! Help! Oh crap, this oh, is God! bad timing because I only have one contact lens in right now. Because I was trying to multitask. Okay, now I have no contact lenses in. Um. Okay, let's do this blind. Okay. I saw that. Oh, I thought I was going to have to fight. Never mind. I can put my contact lenses in still. So. See this what I get like for trying to multitask. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I can pay them. I've got enough gold to buy them all. People like money, I hear. Mm, I'd be careful flaunting it. Okay, good point. Is my contact lens in? Uh, it's okay, now I've only got one contact lens in. This should be fun, y'all. Hopefully she's talking. Is that a dog? Aww. <laughs> Knowing my luck, that would not have been a dog. <laughs> okay, uh, let's look at the statue. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. Oh, poor Beska. I really like Beska. Okay, what else is around here? Blood. Ugh. Um. You did what? Heads. Yes. Ah. 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 Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Okay. That was gross. I wanted to look at the heads, which is also gross, but still. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Yes, that'd be nice. I like my head. Apologies why I tried to put my second contact lens in. It's not going well. Okay. Let's move and then I'll put it in. Let's climb the stairs. <gasps> Oh, let's maybe not climb the stairs. Oh, uh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white asses like you, little brother. Okay, you maybe go they first. should see a familiar face first. 
They don't like us coming here uninvited. It will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking Basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. Hey, be nice. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. Yeah, I, that was not going to go well, was it? We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, but that's good, what I want. Because that's exactly what... Oh. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Okay. I have pins and needles now. Great. I need to move my leg, but I can't move it. Oh my god. Okay, let's look around. Um, can I get by anyone? Oh, I guess I'm, no. Maybe not. Where am I going? That's a person's butt. I don't want a person's butt. Where? Okay, maybe not that way. This way. No, not this way. What am I doing? Anyone want a dragon tooth? No? Okay. Seriously, what am I doing? Um... I would think this way. Well, that worked. Excuse me. Ooh. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, there's Beska. Oh, sorry. Ow. Well, hello there. Amaya! Take her! You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. I don't know the history there, so, you know. Apologies. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. You can be I friends again. my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> um, because that, that's not a nice thing to do. I guess we're pitching to everyone. My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. I know. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all oh, rich. Oh, no. They're not going to the accept masters, that, are they? They used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. They're, they're... Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. They don't seem as into that one. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are. 
until we see you bleed. That's quite personal. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. You? <laughs> His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Is he as swift as a caution rubber? Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Okay. Hmm. Right. Well, you don't know how good well, I am at QTE sequences, Amaya. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. You're pretty too. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. I Thanks mean, that's quite forward of you, but What's you are about? pretty, so... Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. That's also good, too. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. I wonder what she would have said if I said any other options. Alright, there we go. Ooh. You all see this cockless Westeros ape? Excuse you, Please I have a cock. Order us to battle. Like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Okay. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Someone's a bit cocky. Here, use this! Uh, sure. <laughs> Alright, I can totally do this! Westerosi! Um, I'm always ready. I was born ready. Yours would be a beautiful death. Thank you. Isn't that something you'd like to say? Oh. Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. See, and I usually go with leave them wanting more. <laughs> That you die slow. Oh, you didn't call me scum. That's no. I guess I'll grab this. Oh, I guess I'll grab this. <laughs> ah. E. I have to say it loud, otherwise I would. Would it panic. help if I stood still? Maybe. Yeah, probably. Come on, pretty boy. <laughs> Sorry, you're very pretty. I don't want to damage your prettiness. Son of a whore! Oh, don't you talk about my Action. mother that way. Thank you. Ooh. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Ah. Okay, I did press the correct button, I think. I panicked. E. <laughs> I'm ready, Westerosi. Don't hold back. Don't intend to. Look at this terrified boy. He fears his end. Oh, 
Oh! Didn't realise we were going to get that close. Okay, spam Q. I'm quick on my feet. I really don't want to kill him. I really don't want to kill him. Killing him would get the respect, but I don't feel comfortable. We don't kill people for sport. Pet fighters are unimpressed. He's going to force my hand. And they'll have to kill him anyway, isn't he? The masters who once held your chains huh. decided who lived and who died. Maybe but as not. you can see. I'm not here to be your master. Oh, okay. I chose you for a reason. I offer you all a new life. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you. Hmm. I really thought he was going to force my hand.